Hello everybody, welcome to another stream of Assassin's Creed Valhalla again, part 4 of our playthrough, our stream playthrough, Hello we're going to have a good time, welcome. we're going to play some games, we're going to we're gonna enjoy, we're going to do some bits, I can feel it in my bones, I'm talking, rambling, I'm driveling, I'm absolutely chatting nonsense. Right, <laughs> okay, who's ready for some gaming? So... We were left off, we were power level 43, and today we're going to continue along the main story. We can, hang on, yeah, we can upgrade the Berserker Hood and make it snazzier. Um, is there anything else to upgrade? We can upgrade the Berserker Helm. Um, we can't upgrade the Hidden One Superior Thing or the Raven Clan Armor. I could pop this on as it's nicer, but I just don't like the look of it, you know? Like, I just, I just feel naked. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that I'm not actually wearing clothes with it. That right. So we've got we've now got a fine light bow, a predator bow, and a hunter bow. Of these, I like the hunter bow. I like to go ye olde school, and that's really fine. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't know if I need to at the moment. So, just for people coming in, here, here here's the we've got some ground rules, of course, in this stream. If you're new, if you've not joined before, I should lay these out more often at the start of streams. Really. Don't spoil the game for anybody. Uh, that wouldn't be very nice. On top of that, please do remember to be respectful in the chat. And also, get your hellos in now before the chat's clogged up with people chatting shit about the game. You know what I mean? I'm coming in being like, this looks awful. Like They come in at a moment where, you know what, it, you know, it, I'll, be, I'll be fair. The moments they come in and say it, it's not showing, it's not putting its best foot forward. But let's be nice. <laughs> Let's get our nice, let's get our nice hellos in before those people come in and say their pieces, which I guess they're allowed to say if they want to. But I want to say hello to everyone now while you're in the chat. Hi. FPS drops go brr. <laughs> yeah, what's going on there? Why, why is that happening? I'm noticing there's a little stutter. If we play along, we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll either peter out, they'll get worse, or they'll just stay. And if they stay, I can reboot the game. I can sort it out that way. Uh... It's probably on my performance end somewhere, but there should be no reason for it. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's my friend. Yes, say hello to my guy. Uh, uh, I, f I forgot what his name is, but he's the head of the BBB until we beat the shit out of him after he beat the shit out of us. And I just realized he's got wonky eyes. His eyes are probably the, probably the most detailed part of his face. Oh my god, I've realised the man doesn't have a top lip. I mean, he does, but it's so faint. Online service error. Ah, classic. Why do I have an online service error? So, of course, if I go into the quests, we have a quest to do. The Walls of Temper Temple, bro. Um, I suppose we should do that. While we're here, we've got 800 metres to, to go, and we can do it. Let's drop a quick save in. Hey, Fishy, if Ubisoft were to make a Monday AC, would you think it would be in a part... Well, what's a part... What's that? And World War 2... Or World War 2, I have no clue. I... I didn't... I said wonky eyes. And also, that's not... What? What do you mean? That's not what I said at all. And also, I'm not entirely certain that that was a black man. What are you on about? That was just a man in a game. Yeah, you're right. There is a frame drop. What's that about? Why is there a frame drop? No, I said wonky. As in, as in funny. As in slant, as in slightly off. God. Whatever. Oh god, right. I get it, you're just trying to wind me up. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore you now. <laughs> I have now spawned myself most of the game. <laughs> they must have heard the M as a W lol. <laughs> They're also confusing a, a Ubisoft game character's ethnicity. But that's fine. That's fine. Use that for whatever narrative you wish to push. Um Just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. A fool. That's what it is. 
That did nothing. Oh, wait, hang on. It did. It's oil. It marked a platform. Wilfred... Wilfred's Abominations. I've begun an experiment with some of my failed sources. Perhaps some fermentation will lead to a better result. It is worth a try. The only problem being the stench. This is why I've decided to store them below. Here's hoping I can something. I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. Bullhead, too sweet. Brown trout, too pungent. Pollock, too flaky. Haddock, strange texture. Flatfish, too lean. Shad, too bony. Bream, too meaty. Cod, too buttery. Burbot, too firm. Halibut, too dry. Salmon, too rich. Grey trout, too delicate. Sturgeon, too fishy. Oh, what's wrong with being fishy? Have I lost my touch? Am I cursed? I... I just can't get it right. Let's see what this man wants to say. Smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it Leicestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around. That is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying an eel, would you? <laughs> Not the first thing I grab when I set off for the day, no. I've fished everything in Leicester, but the eel. And you think this elusive river snake could be the answer to your soul? Come on, let's, let's get There's ourselves a drink going. Go for sure. All right. If I wrangle one, I shall bring it to you. Yes, please. I must try, if only to rule it out. Thank you. You're a bit obsessed with the eel. Killer Ren, here just to donate. Playing Valhalla 2 on Xbox One. Gonna play Miles Morales tomorrow on PS4. Odin is with us. Cheers. I don't know if I should save Miles Morales for when the, when I get a hold of a... For when the PS5 arrives. I think I've got something sort of with that. Like, a mate of mine, he... Uh, I didn't manage to get a pre-order in, but a mate of mine managed to get to him. Well, three in, actually. Because... Um, he... Uh, he didn't want to get stung. And so he got two that went through as, you know, confirmed. And he's like, would you want one of these? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And so we handled that. For all I know, Eddie scammed me. But Eddie's a good man. He won't do that. And if he does, it's fine. I'll just... Uh, I'll just chop him up and sell him on eBay in different pieces. Anyone want a, re a raw human kidney? Here you go. I hear it's a delicacy in some ends. Bam. They will attack on side here. Yeah, there's a bit of a frame drop issue and it's pissing me off. I don't know why there's a frame drop issue at all, but it's, it seems minor. It seems to be so tiny that it could go away. Oh god, I've been lobbed. Imagine if you threw me in the tent. Get in the tent. We're fucking. That would have been something. Something's fallen down outside the room. That does a lot of damage, to be fair, for what it is. James Rostron, cheers for the super chat, you legend. I really appreciate it. I do look forward to Miles Morales. I don't know if I can wait. I mean, it'll be an upgrade anyway, won't it? With the game, right? But do I want to play it through on PlayStation 4 first, or do I want to wait till PlayStation 5, knowing that the loading screens on the PlayStation 4 could be a bit of a test of patience? Because I think it was designed for the PS5 primarily. This, sir, needs to stop. Let me get the second editions of both next-gen consoles. That sounds fun. That sounds like a good idea. I think the best my laptop can run is AC4 at 30 FPS, I don't know. Assassin's Creed 4 was awkward when it comes to performance. It was... It's always been hungrier than it needs to be, and for some reason... Never seemed to like being at 60 FPS. Um, even on my, on my old PC, which was a little bit more, you know, which was a little bit past the Black Flag time. Um... But this one, I think it would run fine on. Uh, yeah. But no, I, f I, f I, 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 
I don't think Black Flag's a good benchmark gauge point for what your PC can or can't handle is my point, considering it's just a port. What you need to do is find a game that's a full-on build uh, that's for PC and then see how that runs, and that's probably better for it, whereas with a port, it's a little bit harder to gauge because it's not really that compatible. It's just sort of there as a... Oh, they ported it, you know. I'm stuck on the shitter and I'm alone. Isn't that kind of the best way to be on the shitter? These frame drops are going to make me want to kill people, I swear to God. But they're so minor. They're so small. And yet they bother me. Why did I slide under that? Why did I feel like I needed to slide under that? <laughs> Fun. You're right, sir. Ava, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Burger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with him. They must have separated after Tomworth. I heard as much from Chelbert and Leather Chester. Chelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tale for now, but he's fine. I sent him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Alan's will. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aver will take care of fetching others with Why are you saving constantly? Oh, the crashes? Like it's habit, mostly, but I like to save a lot. But yeah, I'm used to... You'll notice that I save a lot in games that crash every now and then. This game crashed for me before the day one patch came out. More to, more than I think Skyrim ever did. Uh, that's a lie. Skyrim crashed far too much. Obviously, and still does. Whereas this seems to have fizzed out, but just the same. If you die, you go back to your last save and stuff. Unless it auto-saves. So be it. I am right where I was. As am I, brother. Sigurd with his hood up is my favourite version of Sigurd. Vichy, do you think that the next AC should be somewhere in Eastern or Central Africa? Uh... I mean, depends on what's there, really, doesn't it? There's something interesting there, like a proper historical setting with some change going on that makes, that fits for Assassin's Creed. I'm not too clued up on that, on, on, on African history, so I'd love to know what setting you think works best, because you never know. See that? Beautiful. Kylo Ren again. Connor Kenway sequel when? Look, Greeny, Assassin Christmas coming next month. AC Ancient Rome when? Uh. Oh, God. I hope they never do Ancient Rome because I think I've been soured on that by the, by the get... As funny as it sounds. The game's engine. With, um, Origins, it sort of give, gave you a taste of that as it was more of that sort of period of Egypt than it was Ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt, if you know what I mean. Um, so Origins gave us that taster. I don't know. I don't think they'll do it now. I think they. I think they've missed that opportunity. However, deliberately, I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Do you think King Alfred is a boss? What do you mean by a boss? Like a, like a boss sort of thing. Like a, like an epic sir or like a, like a boss fight. Because I don't know. He's a clever guy. Crafty fucker. Also, the guy who voiced Jacob Fry is in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I didn't know that. And now I'm going to be looking out for his voice. The 
that skill is useful. I like a good useful skill. It beats a good but useless skill. Hello. You three, scurry. Lady Avonswick, I see Burgred has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Eivor? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger. She will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Ah, see, Abel's clever. You need to be clever if you are if you are short. Um, wait. Watch the handmaidens. <laughs> that was meant as a jab to anybody who is short. <laughs> I need to think through what I say. I don't need this. Capture Athelswith and bring her to camp. Or to the camp. It's not Red Dead. We don't refer to it as just camp. Bring it back to camp. Oh, I think I missed that game. Speaking of, I'm thinking for my stream for the charity event we're doing in December, I reckon I'm going to do a bit of a run through of Red Dead Redemption 2. Or at least try to get through as much of it as I possibly can. And honestly, I'm rather I'm rather excited for this uh, event thing. Right, I need to get around here. I actually don't want it to get too far across here because there's a camp here and a zealot shows up. If you're not careful, uh, and I don't want to deal with that zealot today. In fact, can we see if we'll deal with that zealot today? I don't know. I haven't discovered the zealot. Bro, you catch fire so easily in this game. Yeah, but it does like piss amounts of damage. So I guess it sort of neutralizes it, or at least realizes that you catch fire a lot. And they went, yeah, oh, you catch fire far too much. Skirmishers, are what I hate skirmishers of the passion, because they dodge... They do, they do a fair amount of damage, and then they take loads of damage as well. But they dodge a lot, see? So it takes, t it takes time to deal with them. Okay, maybe they don't do too much damage, but you know what I mean. I have developed a hatred for skirmishes. When you find too many skirmishes in one place, it's like, oh god, like, that's enough. Right, Lady Athelswith. We're going to speak with whoever gave you that bloody name. In history. Stop what you are doing at Quite clever, your ladyship. You certainly make us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan. Where's that fucking your horse? Sense of hospitality. There you are. I regret asking. Joseph Efremov. Cheers for the super chat, you legend and the super sticker. I appreciate you, gamer. You're absolute, sir. Come back, horse! Stay still! Why? Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me go. I demand it. After what you put me through, I would have to be Do you understand As if she's just hopped in the... She's swimming away! Wait, she's swimming away! I thought I tied her up. Is she hopping towards this boat? Is she swimming towards this boat? Lady Athelswift, please. What are you doing? <laughs> oh god. This is this is nuts. Lady Athelswift, do I have to herd you like a pig? Get on the boat, please. She's doing a swim. Maybe she'll go to the camp herself. 
Maybe if we follow her. Oh, I have to recapture her now. Oh no, she is actually swimming to the camp. She why are you swimming to the camp? You're wasting your time. I won't talk. Not to you, not to any of you guys. You've just made my life you easier. Consider, if only for your people. For who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. Well, that was really useful. I've here's one <laughs> okay. I was going to say one wet woman, but then I ha then I realized my mistake. You have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. She's got a massive head. Why the cat shaver? <laughs> Why does it look like she has a massive head? Where's my Kathleen? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one, dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her. I will inform Cheerwolf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. I think Ubisoft could what make his ass between in Australia with Captain Cook. We need. Let them go. I guess Ubisoft can do what they want at this point. I don't know. Huh. Tilting the balance. Yes, there we go. The walls of Templeborough. Now I can free these prisoners and just kill them. You you made that easy. Yep. No one left alive. There we go, that's a quick save. Now I've got two skills to invest in. Yes, let's do this. But it only took us 20 minutes, that's fine. Right. Let's make a move. That way. To a letter chest. Uh, no, it's not letter chest, that's letter chest. This is Tamworth Fortress. Get okay, bro, this game combat is too brutal. It's brutal. I think it's it's it feels nicer when you're playing it than when you're watching it. When you're watching it, it looks a bit janky, and when and it certainly carries over into get into how you feels when you play it. It's janky, but you can sort of get lost and enjoy it, and it becomes a bit of a, it can but but it can become a bit of a clusterfuck. Um, in itself, though, it's enjoyable, especially when you can slow it down and fight one-on-one, -on -one, stuff like that. That's that's quite satisfying, but the combat in this game needs needs to be sorted out, really. You have exhausted my friend Uber here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkwood is hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly vole, too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> My husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? Oh, look. Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. I can see why you despise him. He stabbed you in the back, true. But the people of Mercia are scared, and Cheowulf offers them a bomb for that fear. I spit on him. Whatever life he makes in Mercia will be built on the graves of the nobles who gave their lives to defend it. The longer you drag this out, the truer that becomes. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Templebroth, and Letterchester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chills of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor, your ladyship, do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! 
The pigs start eating them. Weak stomach. Pigs have to eat, my lady. The trouble is, it takes a lot to sate their hunger. Only a matter of time before they finish those and sniff around for fresher meat. And the smell of pig shit after this? Ooh. My, my God! Get me out of here, please! Good old Eva, we'll or Ivar. You, you are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Tailwolf's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burkrit is hiding, in an old crypt to the south, where the Alney and Arrow rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. It was a bit of a spectacle, to be honest. Now, here's something I like about Valhalla. It doesn't always throw a marker your way. It doesn't always tell you where to go. You've got to open the map and look and find it that way. And it says... Where the are we and only rivers join? Let's find that. That's got to be. This is the only. And where's the are we? And this is are we. So it's got to be like here ish, right? We'll find out. Um, I think it is. It's somewhere along those lines anyway. Fishy's Able looks like Eric the Red. My Eivor is a uh, is a lovely gamer. Let's save and let's do this. Apologies for always saving, but I like to better safe than sorry. Who are you? Oh, you don't mind, do you? And here are the gamers. Try not to drag the entire King's Guard behind you. No promises. We will secure the bridge at Venonus. When you have Burgred, ride straight there. Okay. Let's mooch. <laughs> Got it. My hunting is unmatched by any man in the gaming end. No. <laughs> what am I saying? Fast travel to viewpoints wasn't a thing in the Ezio trilogy. I don't think it was a thing until Unity. It was a thing in Black Flag. That's when it was... That's when fast travel to viewpoints became a thing. Black Flag. Uh, before then, they would just sort of like existed. Cannot be the dead they're protecting. I like how that only made him suspicious of me. I killed his mate. It's like, is this the guy we're supposed to be protecting our king from? I don't know. He's killed one of us. What's going on? His lordship strict his confidence. Is it the king's orders? And the rest of us are just supposed to stay here, like sitting ducks. If you don't cut your way, that's exactly what we'll be. But I don't like this. One bit. Why do fire arrows do less damage? At the moment your arrow's on fire, it does less damage. got 
to be down here. Where are you hiding, Bagret? You feel the assassinations for sure. I like how he didn't think to move it like that. He just felt to kick it. Like he just, just felt like he needed to kick. That's all. No moving, just kicking. That's fine. Makes my life easier. There's mouldy cheese in there. Oh, a delicacy. You know what? There's probably somebody who saw a mouldy cheese one time and thought, Oh, I bet that tastes great. It's grand. I like how this place is somehow on fire. I don't know where that fire came from. Did he have a torch? Here's the chronicle of King Burgred's great victory over the Ragnarsson Horde. Oh, wow. The Danes broke down the gates of Tamworth and snuffed out not only its people, but its spirit. But would that spirit die? Oh, no. King Burgred, brave and wise, would outsmart the heathens and escape their ravenous claws with what they lusted for the most. The royal crown. King of Mercia, he remained while the poor invaders kicked themselves at the blunder, crying and cursing so loudly for their gods to hear. They severely underestimated the brave king, who now laid in wait for his shiny moment, the one that would define his reign and celebrate his great victory for centuries to come. Yeah, well, I hope that... I hope they share that one about. I'm sure everyone will agree that he did a great job. Let's get rid of this fire arrow. We don't need it. Sorry, it's just a fire arrow. I could have probably put it away and stuff, but it's like oh, it getting close. Oh. Could have used that fire arrow. And that's a way out that I guess I can sort of use. There's something down here. We might as well go and explore it. Oh no, I can't. I can't use this thing as a way out. Oh, what a massive of shame. Oh, I can. Well, oh, there's a hole here. It's not even. It's not even a way out, is it? It's just a thing. That's fine. Third spear. Fourth spear. Third. Isn't it? Can you turn off the numbers flying off the bodies? I'd appreciate it. Is that in options? Is that in interface? There we go, it's off. Now we shouldn't get numbers flying off. No numbers. I bet he loved that. If you insist. It's like a Dane sense of humor, isn't it? Or, or like, like a, I don't know, like a Viking, sorry, sense of humor, or a Norse sense of humor. It's just, you're weak. I'm strong. Come on, if you must. Bam. You know, with the with the with the numbers gone, it feels great. The combat feels a little bit more cinematic. Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. That's what we like. There's some rope in there. That bread joke. We like a bit of bread jokes. 
it's like the Norse dick joke, you know. Oh, bread. Then Leofrith, as per your request, I made some alterations to the Dane actually brought me. You'll notice the grip, throat and belly have all been tailored to a man of your stature. Wielding it will require a bit more effort, but I'm sure you'll get used to it quickly. Um, and as always, I've, give, I've given it a proper sharpening. You'll split hairs with it, so don't mind your... So, sorry, so do mind your fingers. I heard this is the same axe they pulled from your shoulder. Fancy that. Give my regards to every day and you cleave with it. Right. That's... Why do I keep putting the king down? Oh, that's a sepulcher axe. Oh, that looks like fun. It looks snazzy. And it's mine now. Right, let's go return this king to our boys. You can stay here for a minute, yeah? To the objective. Da -na 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 -na. I'm probably better off not being on the roads no. while carrying the king as a prisoner. You, you haven't. Liar, I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Ah, quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. Ah. You're a Light on this world, the old lot of you, a rancid disease. You don't deserve Hi, hello, King Mercia. Alfred of Wessex. The victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. to go fast right behind you it's the boys now I've sort of got to scooch around to avoid being I mean you can be detected in this mission. well I mean you can be detected in any mission this in this game or links. quest sorry in this game um, this doesn't really make a difference but it's just a pain in the ass having 60 guards behind you so I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid that inconvenience <laughs> The fix the cloak physics uh, in the horse riding. If you if you if you want to take a look, you can see sort of what they're going for with it, I guess. I don't know if I'd call it fixed or what. It's just they're not. It's not mental anymore. It's not like two frames per year. The cloak just exists. It's a little bit nice. A little bit nice now. Oh god, I think they're chasing me anyway. No, they're not chasing me. They should be chasing me, but then. Here we are. Look familiar? No, no, you, you godless slugs! You won't get away with this. Get the likes up, gamers. That'd be great. Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A wit end with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The zealots will know your name soon enough. 
No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalit. Who does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You've drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? And it's all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Before we do anything, let's get some skills going, eh? Um, there, stain axe. And that. Then go to that, and then we get some more melee damage. See what I mean? Dark, too dark. Don't want to change the camera angle. While I was doing that without causing a problem, you I just did a cool gaming move. Get lost. Oh, look! He's just told these two to get to sit down. Get fucked, and now we've got a table to sit and drink at. I know I have been a cock, but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some background I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old. Bat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. If it bothers you, why stay? If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. Is that having a piss? Look at that man in the background. Watch him just sharply turn. Classic. Hope so. Right. How much did we drink? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> right to the to the long house. Valhalla gameing exactly, uh, Lee. That's exactly what it is. Gameing. Can I kill someone out here? Yeah, I can. I can murder random. I can scare everyone off and they make an actual noise and run away. Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You 
sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwolf. Masia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan infested kingdom and the favors of these two faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must be slapped hard. You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life, for it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. How quickly he changes and turns. Me. I, I, do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this, Lord, and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled, never to return. The Witten recognizes King Cherwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! Good old Cherwolf, now he is the king. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton. Leofrith, loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. He will come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. There we go, lovely. Before we continue, I'm gonna nip to the loo. I don't know why. I just got one of. I think. Uh, I think my blood is on one today, but that's too much information. I'll be back.
<sighs> well, hey. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm back. Uh, yes, that is me. Um, I was quite happy. Who's this guy with the shield and why is he here? Behind me, like that. Maybe he was there the entire time. Maybe he has become me. No. Uh, I, put, I, I took my car in for its MRT today and it passed with no advisories and I was really happy. I was really quite chuffed with that, with that end result. I was like, yeah, why not? I was expecting it to need some work done somewhere or another. And no, there's like, there's, yeah, no, the car's passed. Nothing wrong with it. It works perfectly fine. I must find there was one thing that they, they mentioned. It wasn't even an advisory. They said there's a little oil leak. Uh, but a lot of cars have that specific, you know, tiny leak. And it's a bigger job than it's worth to fix. And it won't cause any problems while, you know, likely while I own the car. Because I'll be honest. Have you seen well, Tailbell? That was happy days. Right, gamers. It has to be Tailbell. He is the only prize worth. I don't know why I have to talk about my life, but I do. Well, that part. Of it. Just the fun part. No, not the rest of it. The rest of it, you, the rest of it, you'll find out. Never. That man's arm is gone, and it's. Look at the blood just rolling out of his arm. Rolling. It's pouring. Search for Chelbert on the Isle of Waifs. Okay. Let's go. That man, I don't know what was going on with his voice. Bam. And his head is no more. Bones eye? Or wooden's eye? I don't know. Who are you? man said the Lord the Lord is his strength and died. I'm sure he loved it. Where are you, Chalbert? Show me what lies ahead. Oh, that general area. Chalbert, he's in trouble. Is it still showing the same ish the same thing? What's going on? Hang on. Is it flashing like that for anyone? No, it's not. It's fine. It's fine. Shush. Shush me. Uh, <laughs> for, on the preview, it looked like it was absolutely fucking itself. Um, let's make sure everything's fine. That's good. Don't worry about it. Everything's good. Is it? Yes, it is running. But hang on, is it playing though? Is the play about playing? Yes, it is. Yep, it's fine. Right, in. Please, you do not want to do this. Leofred, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. The big sword. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We have stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. Bam. You can't win this, Leofrid. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnesons have won the day. I have fought. He's snoozing now. I have fought. Oh no, he's not snoozing. I am still standing. I've got to stun him. I've got to hit the. Oh, 
these bits, and now I've got to go over and do a stun attack. Oh god, that did loads. Now he's going to do some ridiculous attack. out of arrows. That's sort of like the animation they have for when you're not supposed to kill somebody. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to Sir Fulgrim to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable Thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burkrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth. Stand, Leofrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burkrid is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now, you haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. And where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. There's a hefty cape. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You are lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. At least this guy can climb. Back there, a little. Lefer. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And... With that truth, he forges a new path. You were right about him, Jailbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Here we are, we're at the place. Jailbert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn! could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. 
You're an Otlinger now. Or Arthling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. Um. Just do your part. Uh. No need to thank us. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now. And everyone has gained something. Silver. Honor. Allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheolvert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Atherling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eber. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolf Kist, as a sign of friendship. I should you call. The brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well. Two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too. A brave little twig. That is good to hear. Lovely gaming we enjoy. Now then. Leofrid said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I will be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. Right, let's go to. Oh, I can't smash through that window. Then calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. The parchment must be burned before the next dusk. Okay. Was Syndicate always better than Unity? I have no clue. I wonder if Alfred will be as good as TVs. What's going on with the frame rate? I just had a moment, I think. It's fine, don't worry about it. No, there is genuinely something going on with it. What do you see, Sunan? There. That's the statue the Senate's use. The mark. Eivor of the Raven Clan. Ludichester. Not anymore. It's gonna be burnt. Zealot's warriors will not actively hunt you, but they are still formidable foes. Which means you'll have to kill them either way, basically. Now to Ravenstorp. Da -da 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 -da. What 
wonder if Alfred will be as good as TVs. The Last Kingdom's Alfred, if you mean that one. Uh, oh well, I mean, that's a high bar, isn't it? Oh, we've got some skill points. Let's invest them in something. Right. Headshot and stealth gun. What does that actually do? It just sounds good. Automatically highlight enemies when crouched and undetected. That's really useful. Oh, it does highlight them eventually. Stab them in his bollocks. Well, here we are. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilpat. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lit Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Well, we'll go outside and see. This one's weird, right? This is this is so odd. This this thing, the who they're on about. This is so odd. Right. Right, let's swing over and say hello to the eyeless children. Speak to the visiting merchant, the Thousand Eyes. Here we are. Do I have enough resources to build this? No. Shame. Here we go. Watch this Good now. Day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of the thousand eyes, <laughs> vendors of uncommon. I love how he doesn't give you time to speak. Treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkiss. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How do you know me? Or you do seem familiar. Hmm, how do you know me? How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have 1,000 years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort not. of fee? It varies with the item. But there is a small hitch. Yeah, it's been 900 years. How is this kid not dead? In Opal. A striking colour. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mirror. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Uh, what? And this is sort of how you can buy microtransaction stuff with 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 an in-game currency opals which you'll find i'd say not particularly quickly um but it's whatever uh but why is why is redder not dead and also who is this man ha 
Uh, I can afford a tattoo or a, a crackhead mount. Tell you what, there's no other value for the opal, so we might as well just buy the tattoo. Excellent choice, and a lucky one too. For nothing in stock lingers very long. My selection changes daily. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. <laughs> I think Redder is enough for an AC time traveler video. I don't think he's a time traveler. I just think he's not supposed to exist at all. He's just like a little joke character or something, right? Surely. Like a character that exists as a... I don't know. I don't know why Redder exists, why he decides that he needs to exist. It was fine in Origins and this, they should have just got another character. But I don't understand. Why does Redder exist? What, what, what is Redder doing? Pledge an alliance. Pledge a new territory on the alliance map. Challenge completed. Ubisoft Connect XP earned. What does that mean? Redder is actually a Visu blood. That was like kid kind of make rhymes. Music guy. His father was never boiled in a bronze bowl. That's the lad. That's. Soon. It's been about for some time. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Right, okay, well, we're not really ready to go to London. We're going to go to Grant, Grant Bridge, uh, which is Grant... Yeah. Tell me about Grandabritshire. Yeah, Grandabritshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandabridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will pledge. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. Oh, uh, yeah, because he's useful. In between bouts of not being useful. Right. I guess we should get a mooch on in that general direction, right? That's the worst that could happen. Fisher, did you find the hidden one's outfit? On the other... On the other, on the other, um, on on the other save, yes, I have got a tutorial up on the channel. I didn't do so well for views. I wonder why. Is that because nobody's looking for the tutorial, or is it because ah, it didn't go to sub boxes or what? But that's fine. It's no worries. You, you're a gamer. <laughs> right. Let's go and do some snazzy bits. My rations are full. I've just got the statue there, it's fine. I take command of this of this of this lovely vessel. Which now suddenly has many a member. Can't raise the sail yet. I like how this turns around faster than it can actually turn around. Let's have a song. Like when, you, when you're controlling it, it won't turn around that fast. Run up the sail. Lovely. 
lovely time. It's really quite soothing, isn't it? Now, what are these? These that's a high level raid. That's a maybe we should go do a a raid. We have time. First, I'm going to hop off, get this viewpoint, and then we'll continue on our way. Don't worry about it. When is the review? The, last known location of the review is as soon as I've, you know, ironed out the thoughts and said what I wanted to say. Uh, until then, I wouldn't necessarily expect it. Uh, I don't want to rush a review for the sake of slapping a number rating on it and being done with it. And obviously, that's what the game's just come out. There's a lot of reviewers doing that. Most of them put them out yesterday. Or the day before, actually, on the 9th. And then yesterday, a few more, probably. I just... Okay, you've decided the only wall I can't climb in the game is that one. But I don't really want to rush a review for the sake of having a review out. I want to properly soak in this game, give it the, give it the investment it deserves, and then, and then when I've come to the end, just, you know, properly go into every thought that I think I need to express. Uh, that won't necessarily... I mean, it'll be the best review... You'll find on the internet there are people who are just who are just better at making content than I am, but it will be the best I can do. Most re reviewers are giving this huge positive ratings. Sure, I d I wouldn't say I wouldn't associate this game with anything negative. I think this game is uh, proper good. But I don't want to slap a number rating on it at all, if I'm being honest. I want to give it time and actually go through my thoughts. Um, just have an honest review that has all the detail that I want to share. And doesn't really skip out on it. Remember when the Division 2 came out and everyone gave it great ratings today? It's in a bad state, though. I played about an hour of the Division 2 and then I stopped and never thought about it again. Let the sail out. Sing us a song. Bring the mast down. You think the DLC will be as good as Origins? I reckon the DLC will be good, but the game is very good in a lot of ways. I reckon the DLC will have those, have that same thing carry over, if that makes sense. Right, I'm gonna have to swing out because I have to turn and face the shore. Must be pointed towards it. Time to raid and be raided and also hop off this boat is doing some doing some weird now. Right. The long ship. It's for it's for gamers. Right. Kill one of these guys for luck. Or miss. For, it was for luck, okay? I did it for luck. Also, because I didn't need that arrow anyway. Oh, 
Welcome to the to the raid, prisoners. Welcome to the raid, prisoners. Welcome to the raid, prisoners. Alright, that's enough prisoners welcomed to our raid. Help me open this door. Give me a hand with this. Oh, it's Dag. He's come to give me a hand with this. More prisoners to welcome to the raid. Oh, there's someone in here. You know what? It's time to welcome the prisoners to the raid. Welcome to the raid, prisoners. It's like a party, but for Vikings like us. Yeah, more prisoners. Oh, I can just open the cage. Why didn't they do that? See this? This is how you raid, with your pals. How long does it take for about ten of you to kill one skirmisher? Or two skirmishers? Right, just chef him up, man. Jesus. Raw materials. Lovely. Who are you? Why have you got a key? Ow. Well, I don't know why I didn't defend myself. I always find it really awkward to time the... to judge the timings of these spear guys. Especially when we're all parry them, the pikemen. And you know that. Apologies, gamers. It takes a little while sometimes. That horse just showed up. Can I just open this door, please? I'd just like to open this door if that's okay. Do you mind? Anyone want to come and help me open this door? Now? The door is for us to take. We'll take the door, hey, not what's inside. Can't do this alone. This game is... Yeah, I'd say this game is good. The grass looks so fuzzy. Can we get this back to the ship? Give me a hand! I'm here, what is this guy doing? It's a very difficult chest. Let's try again. Come, help me with this. Maybe you're not cut out for this, man. I need a better Viking than this guy. Give me a hand over here. We'll come back. Is to give up and let somebody else try. Hey, come here. Friend, somebody come be my friend. He's clipping through the chest. Why does he need to open it? If we could have a friend who can clip through the chest, why do we need somebody to come along and try to open it? I'm awfully confused. Uh, I'll just record this because it's going to go into the little glitch compilation of the review, I guess. Because there's been some mad ones.
You see the ending? You can say that Darby did the ending similar to Revelations. I've seen the ending, let's not talk about it because some people... Well, I mean, I've seen the ending, I've played the ending. Um, but let's not talk about it to avoid spoilers, eh? I'll come back for this, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll come back and there'll be a different Viking in there. One who's genuinely competent rather than whatever that guy was. He can clip through a chest but can't take the loot from within. What a clown. Book of Knowledge, we've got ourselves an ability. If we go to our abilities, we can assign it. It's a little archery ability, it's good, we can, we can add that in. Ah, there we go. Now I guess we can go back and see if we can actually finally get in. I fucking give up, will you? <sighs> Guys. Can somebody tell that guy to give up? I'll go get this viewpoint, come back and re-raid this shit all. Do you prefer the PS4 or Xbox One controller? I... I Honestly, I prefer the, the Xbox One controller. Because I'm using it on PC. But that doesn't really go towards the... You know... Which console I prefer. Of the consoles, I think it goes all the way around. If I could have my way, every game I'd want to play would be on PC. But it's just not how it goes if... With Sony exclusives. And so that's why I prefer Sony as a console, because it's a console that actually has a reason for me to have it. Well, with, the, with the PlayStation. Uh, with the Xbox, there are a few exclusives, but there's none I've ever really wanted to play. Maybe Fable, actually. I might get an Xbox Series X or uh, may maybe an Xbox Series S, actually, just so I can play Fable. Now I'm going to go back, re-raid this dump, and see if I can finally get that chest opened. The music is so nice in this game. It's really satisfying. It really adds atmosphere. It's great. The guy was having a good shag with the loot box. Oh, no. At least we know that he'd get along with EA. If they see me, this will get messy. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Oh, I'm having a great time. I'm, 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 I mean, I've already done a playthrough. I love that playthrough. This this playthrough again. We're loving it. Right, excuse me. If we do this for long enough, someone will come and help. Hey, come here a moment. Give me a hand over here. If nothing else, we can appreciate the soundtrack. <laughs> Skill up review. I'm angry I wasted so much time on Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but he liked Odyssey. He's allowed to like what he likes, and he's allowed to dislike what he like, what he dislikes, you know? In the end of the day, it's not never going to be for everyone. Like, no game is ever going to please everybody. Some people will always be harsh that they're on, on games that others might not be might like and hate games that others may love. Are we Are they legit running off? I thought we're raiding this place. The Vikings. Yeah everyone seems to be running away. Like somebody come and help me. That's him. That's that's the only guard this place has now. They don't. I don't need other. I don't need other Vikings. 
I just need myself. I just need to open this fucking chest. Hey, come here. Can somebody please help? Like somebody out there come and assist me in here. Oh god, I've I made a f Yeah. What about you? I'm doing my darndest. Come, help me with this. We could be here for the best part of a decade, everyone settle down. As we as we watch Eivor struggle to open a chest on his ones. Give me a hand. Give me a hand with this. This is the Viking raiding experience I always dreamed of. Hey, can't do this alone. Uh, at least I'll be able to bring a balanced review and go over some of the positives and uh, some of the less positives of the game. There's a lot of positives. There are a lot of things I think could do with some work. I'll be honest, I didn't kill these guys. Oh, maybe I did. Who's the Can I kill this donkey? Oh, yes. I think it actually dies better than the donkeys in Origins that sort of like stand up for a bit and then just die. Yep, I don't think this raid is really working out for me. I've had enough. Let me in. Hey, come here a moment. I'm trying to record myself failing as well. We'll be here for 10 years, wondering why we bothered. At least the door's a nice, satisfying colour. We can give it that, right? Oh god, it's getting bright. Why is it getting so bright? What happened to the brightness? Oh, it's gone. That's weird. That actually hurt my eyes. Why is no one helping? Use your horn. I just did! I fucking did. I can use the horn, but I, I already called the raid. The entire point is I ran off from a raid because it had glitched to see if I could reset it. came back, and now nobody's raiding when there. I called the raid. Set it on fire. No, you see, that's the thing about wooden doors. They only burn when it's convenient for the game. Uh... <laughs> There is certainly an entrance somewhere else. Is there another way to open the fucking chest in there as well? Because apparently that needs two people. There is an entrance somewhere else on this one though. And there's one of the fucking Vikings here. Why are you being so useless? Yeah, but I came in here and already looted this place. Now I can open... Hello Viking 1. Viking 2 can be helpful. I could actually do with some assistance, you guys, if you don't mind. Maybe this monk will help me. Come back. I require only the finest assistance. Let me open this. I, Come. I need my fucking loot. What? Fucking get in here, you dick! You can call the raid from land. You shouldn't have to ha go back to the ship, but that is a clever idea. I'm gonna do it. I bet everyone's just chilling on the on, on the long ship. I guess if you go back to the ship, it'll work. That or maybe the ship will then decide to fall through the world and we continue on our epic Viking saga. I honestly don't know what to expect. Let's see.
Let's go. Raid time. Attempt number three. No, we will not kill the dog. The dog can live. Ah, uh, me and my Viking boys. Running in single file. Into battle. And they say we're godless. But the godless do not keep orderly. Right, now somebody will help me. Come, friend. Let's open this chest. Together as pals. A good horn. Let's get out of here. After mere centuries of waiting, I am ready. Finally. All that for some, like, 200 supplies? Yeah, why not? How many supplies? 200. Yeah, worth it. Fine. Brilliant. I should be in science, but I'm in a better place. That sounds like you're talking about being dead. <laughs> I'm in a better place now. <laughs> oh god, it's what they say. It's what they say when a, when the dog goes for a run. You know, in the fields on its own. It's, in, it's up in the fields. Yeah, I'm sorry. Billy the dog is up in the fields, loving life. Hmm. Well, that's bullmuck shit. Show me. Ah. Th Back where I came from, of course. Origins or Valhalla, please answer. I don't have an answer for you yet. How's the game so far? So far, it's pretty brilliant. I'm having a great Hail. time. What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. I have heard the name. You helped the sons of Ragnar overthrow the Mercian king. Well met. Well met, traveller. It's the time to travel. Did failed to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of wattle and daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. Sounds like an ambush. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Aryalsko, Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Conversation with Magni. Order clues. Have a look, see what clues. You can see like these guys and you can find clues. Hytham has discovered that a member of the Order has permeated Lincolnshire. Hytham has discovered gaming. Hytham has discovered that a member of the Order has permeated Granted Bridgeshire. And a conversation through speaking with Magni, Abel's learned the attacking soldiers were working for the order. The Tang. The Tangy Cheese sounds like a. The Tang sounds like a rip off Doritos sort of flavor, doesn't it? It's just the Tang. The screen tearing on your end is the game itself. The game's not tearing. But I noticed that. I did notice that in the playback a, a moment ago. That's weird. 
It's favourite sport. Uh I've I've done my fair share of martial arts over the years, but it's not really a sport, is it? It's just a bit of exercise. Um I like to I like watching football. That's always a good time. Or uh, as Americans call it, soccer, but we all know that Americans are allowed to be wrong. It's not it's not it's no shame in it. Go. Zudin. Is it still tearing? Is that still an issue? What cloak are you wearing? The fat gamer cloak. Now I'll show you. It's the Berserker hood. And I've got this. Oh, we can upgrade that. Yes. Well, we will upgrade that. The Hidden One's gloves we can't upgrade. Then there's the Raven Clan armor. Now, I quite like the Berserker hood. I think it, I got that as, as a part of the review copy for some reason. But that's fine. It's whatever. You know, it exists. It's useful. I should not be seen in this area. And so I cannot be far. I should have a look around. There. Beached long shadow. Day markings. There appears to be quite a lot of dead people here. Oh my god, I threw that guy into the other guy. That's snazzy. Ow, that hurt a lot. Attack me again. Right. This is why you shouldn't have done that. Come, brothers. Let's end this. Once they're out of stamina, that's when you can stun attack them. That's really snazzy. It's a good old stun attack. It's probably the best thing you can do is a stun attack. It just sort of cuts out the health bar and just makes it feel a little bit old. Well, old school, if you know what I mean. When they're out of stamina, the health doesn't matter. The stun attack does tons of damage. Uh, on boss fights, it does matter. The health still does depend on whether or not that stun attack will end them. But on these kinds of enemies, it just yeah, quick kill. I wish there were more animations for it as opposed to one for every different weapon. Now I can throw you into your mouth, can I? Oh yes, I can. That is a useful skill. Uh, a bit weird, but useful. I can replenish my arrows. Ooh, a chest inside which there's some scrap. And I can free the gamers. You have done right by me. You sir. Yards corner nearby. Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. She is somewhere in the swamps. Soma fled east of her, or Soma, um, fled east of her longship. Well, where's her longship? Oh god, it's really hard to see anything. Is the longship back here? Oh yeah, that's a longship, isn't it? It is. Yep. So north, west. There you go. East. Let's have a little gallop. Follow the corpses. When in doubt, follow the dead. Save the game before we die. And we'll also use a torch. Oh, look at the atmosphere of this. There's a nice, at there's a nice atmosphere in the lighting and the colouring. Oh, I can get a good shot out of this for sure. Right. You know what this needs? More fucking fog. How? Oh, God, there's nothing here. That's how foggy it is. Right. Increase the bloom. That's what, sort of what this shot needs. Saturation we can increase as well. And then we can turn the temperature down ever so slightly. But increase the contrast, down the exposure. And look at that. Well, actually, maybe leave the exposure a bit higher. Give it that Give it that more. Give it more of a flow across. And then you got this. I think that, I think that screenshot is, 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 is rather dandy. 
Um, I like a good dandy screenshot, to be honest. Can I set this corpse on fire? I feel like that sort of did, but didn't. I'm doing my best to set things on fire. I know it's a really bad. I know it's a really bad thing to be obsessed with. My mother keeps telling me, "Stop setting shit on fire." This is the sixth time this week I've seen the dog with a with a burning tail. Uh, no, that didn't happen. Imagine that with a dog with its tail ablaze. All because you're obsessed with fire. No, none of it. To be fair, knowing Dennis, you probably fart and turn into a rocket ship. Look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. All his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. But we have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. The higher quality cutscenes are great. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Granbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip What's your opinion title. on this game? Do you like it? Yeah, I like the it. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Granbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bilna, Galin, Leif. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Where's this Wigmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grantbridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grantbridge? The elder man Wigmund seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grantbridge. Let's go find your people. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Oh. Lovely. The Tang. Identity discovered is big, big man. As Wigmund or something. Creative name. I think we should all be relieved that like Saxon names are out of circulation. To be honest, but okay. I don't need a predator bow combo really. Evasion's good. Now I can interact with it. Here you will be on fire. You can also just throw your torch at it. I feel like somehow that's better this way. And guide Soma's gilded warriors to just have the cutscene. Battle to you. I do not have long now. A few hours at most. This place is as good as any. A beautiful view of the setting sun or the bright stars should I last into the night. I have met people so afraid to die alone. But as I die here writing this I see there is nothing to fear. After all this is a journey we must all take alone with no one and nothing in tow. And so to whoever should find me, I leave you this key to my home in hopes that which I leave behind can find new meaning. 
Can I pick up his body and at least throw him off? The full damage in this game is very forgiving. Well, there's like another one over there. First, let's go over here, I guess. Oh, yeah. The, the horse can't swim yet because I don't have the perk. That's fine. We can wait. Now I can stamp on your head. That didn't take long. Alright, come on, lad. Oh, I've got a friend. Lovely. Not that I need one. Code of honor, more than most, and builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grant Ridge alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and funny and hard to pin Every game has repetitive like combat. That's true. It's just how satisfying is that combat to begin with see? that really makes it an Sessions. issue. If it's repetitive to begin with, it can be a bit of a problem. Well, not repetitive, sorry, to begin with. If it if it feels like a slog, is what I'm trying to say, from this from go, then it can be an issue. But if it's satisfying and fun, then there's a chance it could stay that way, and it will get repetitive later. Yes, but until then, it's a good time. But is it, if it's not a good time from go, then it, that repet that repetition issue is going to be a massive issue. But you're right when you say every game is repetitive, but it's just a case of when you start to feel the tedium. That's how you judge a game usually, is based on when that tedium kicks in, and also how much of the game feels tedious. For example, this game has a bit of tedium to it, it feels like it's a little bit. Other games have a little bit, like Ghost of Tsushima. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game that has it when you feel when you play through it the second time and you know what's coming and all that stuff it can sometimes feel a little sluggish but the first time around you don't feel it that's you know that's a great time the witch is quite similar uh, all games eventually get to a point where you feel like it's getting tedious but how tedious depends on whether or not the game builds itself on a fun foundation despite knowing that it will wind up getting repetitive because there's only so much game in a game you know what i mean um there are other games on the other end that i would argue are like 100% like tedious, a like Assassin's Creed Early Odyssey, or uh, leave Fallout 76 like is tedious to sturdy. open, so just Great delete it. Um, Vienna is like a grapevine. You know what I mean? It's just the nostalgia talking of the Dezio's game have way more finisher animations, as well as more variety. Well, I think that's because the combat was mostly based on its animations back then. It wasn't really in the Ezio trilogy, but it was designed to feel more like you need... What's the most efficient way rather than will you survive? Um, now, I guess there's an aspect of will you survive, but this game is not particularly difficult. Um, I think... I think the satisfaction in Assassin's Creed 1s, 2s, Brotherhoods... Revelations 3's combat came from the aesthetic of it, if that makes sense. 
Doesn't mean it didn't have its issues, it was pro probably a little bit too easy. That, I'd, descri I'd describe it as maybe at times being too easy, but that's what it was trying to go for. It feels nice, cutting through like hordes of guards, just feeling like an untouchable god. And why are there so many wolves here? I could, in this fight alone, I've single-handedly wiped out wolves from Anglo-Saxon England. Here you go. How are you on your fourth playthrough? Three, it's my fourth. I played three hours last night, and even on the hardest settings, I found it super boring. This is my second playthrough. I'm on playthrough part four, not playthrough number four. Like part four is what that hashtag means. <laughs> People think I'm on my fourth playthrough after the game being out for a day. <laughs> no, I thought that was clear. Apparently not. Nobody else has had that. What happened here? Nobody else has that's thought that crazy. meant my fourth Man, playthrough before. That's interesting. Oh, I see. Yeah. Looking at it, I can see why there would be confusion, but also I don't. Because I've used this format for years. <laughs> the first time that's been mentioned. And now it sticks out to me. Now I'm going to confuse it for that. The, the combat and Odyssey was really fun and engaging. The problem was with the enemy's health bar. Yeah, that's for sure. I think the combat and Odyssey had a lot of positive in the sense that it felt all right. It, fe it, fe it felt decent. It's just when you chip away at an enemy's health so meagerly and you're there for ages just trying to kill one me like measly little man, it, it just feels... It, that feeling gets underlined. But... I feel like that represents everything you'll come to like about Odyssey is coupled with something that you may not. And as a result, it all gets brought down, in my opinion. Um, at least that's how I see it. You might see it differently. This Ubisoft Connect thing, I need to figure out how to disable the notifications because it's starting to really get on my nerves. It's happening every three seconds. No, this just says playthrough number four. Ash before number usually means number. Not usually. Well, I mean, yeah, usually actually, but when it comes to playthroughs, it's been it's been represented. It it can be used as part, if you know what I mean. Piece four, part four, number four. It has several. Depends on what you use it for. I've never had that. I've never had that. Uh, that confusion before. What difficulty is this playthrough? Normal. And we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well warm. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall. Waiting for us. Thank you, Yarl's Corner. Why is the screen tearing? What's that about? You'd outlast any Mad. tempest. It's good to be back, Sona. All as one. And know this that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. 
and Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. What hardware are you playing this on? It's on my about page. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge. Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. I'm still honestly still confused about Redder. You know what? Me too. That was very confusing. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Hello, sir. Garland, is that right? That's right. Eivor, the infinite fighter, the forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Plot Redder is Isu. Just pursued me. Isu child. Me through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Will you get PS5 or Xbox Series X anytime sooner? I don't know what that means. No. PS5 on launch, Xbox Series X, if I can be asked. Or if I feel like I need to. Leaf, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A long ship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. Hang on a second, I'm just sorting something out. Let's go over to the next dialogue while I do this. Do, 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 do. Hello. The day is new and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grand Bridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. Abel's voice is unappealing. I quite like Abel's voice. It's just a, it's just a voice. Doesn't really have much of an impact on me in the sense that I don't really pay much attention to it. The Let's acting is good um, on on a on you know the, the actor's part. And I think that or, or as good as it can be with how Ubisoft seems to have their cast do it. Do the acting part. Can Ava wear male armor? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's get the likes up to 200. We're stupidly close. We can do that. What's your favorite weapon so far? The gamer weapon. Um... My favorite weapon so far. I don't know actually. There's, it's not like there are many to speak of um, that I've come across yet. Oh, and I've done a full playthrough, so. I mean, I recently acquired Excalibur on that playthrough. Uh, we know that that's in the game, it was in a trailer. Um, so it's not really a spoiler to say. But that'd be cool. We'll pick that up on this playthrough as we go. And I'll get a guide up about getting a hold of Excalibur at some point. Thief. 
I know you're up there. Return Grand Bridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha! <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, heathen. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave. Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens. Wigman. Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grant Bridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> Hello gamers, it is I. Right, you can you can be part of your mate. No time or not. I don't know if you made your mate or whatever. Ah, that was satisfying. That man is dead. I actually I think I accidentally hit one of my pals. Doesn't matter. Everything's fine. I just slid under dead people. Eivor does not give a fuck. Why is his beard so unsexy, lol? What, what, what does that mean? <laughs> is that the first thing you looked at? Ooh, sexy beard. No Christmas, no mercy. lolling suicidal crocodile cult back or no I hope so I mean they were cool crocodiles in this game would be interesting I've not come into it I've not found any crocodiles yet funnily enough England doesn't tend to be the place for them but I'd like to see a crocodile because it would be funny I guess Here we are. Regroup with Soma. Soma! Edmund, you cannot hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigman's gone! Who's this gone. big man? He's a very big man. Jesus Christ, you're a gigantic man. <laughs> I didn't realise that they'd invented Big, big Max yet. He's just ragdolling whoever that was. Was that Soma? Or something. No, it was you. Oh, I just got slammed into a wall by Captain Big Mac over here. There you go. It makes you feel better. We did nothing to him that he hadn't already done to himself. Alright. No sign of Wickman here. Viking sumo wrestler. The, the man walks walls. out. He needs a double door to leave places. No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. Is the screen tearing? But we've struck a bold claim Jesus. Today. Walk with me. I want you Hang on. I want to know why that's happening. 
Maybe it's to do with the bit rate. Maybe if I increase the bit rate, it'll behave. Let's let's. I want to know if that fixes it because I I worry a little that it Let all the Shire know that it was to do with the bit rate being a bit low and it was exceeding it on there. Long life, bounty. Why we'll find me? out now, won't we? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. Long wind. Notice that those birds only had one positioning up and down. Not terroring, man. They're trolling. Their Wi Fi is as dead as my nan. Yeah, but on my end, it is as well. Like on the game, it's fine. On, OB on OBS, it's fine. But in the in the little preview thing I've got running, it appears to be. So maybe there is actually some form of thing on YouTube's part that's affecting some people. She frown as she turns away. That I don't understand, but it's interesting that Avor notices. It's like she's sad that she had to kill everyone's puppies on the way back in or something. Batman Arkham Night live stream. Oh god. Maybe at some point I'll do the Arkham games, but. Mm. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me. And the three in my inner circle. You think there's a traitor? You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. <laughs> Abel's beard is having a moment. You are a fresh ally. It's having an absolute this. moment. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task is near done, it seems. Good. I sent Garlin. As snazzy as a big beard is, I'm gonna have to change it. I think I can Shire. afford to build the tattoo shop. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. It's a good idea. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, a gift for retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. It's a big beard, it's just the physics of it. It's getting in the way of some scenes. Soma. That's all. Good luck, Abe. Cool, sorry, I wanted to pick up your arrows. Skills. Right, we're gonna go and change the beard if I can afford to sort the place out, the tattoo shop. I 
I think I can afford to. The laws for physics don't apply to beards. Shipyard. Where is the fucking tattoo shop? Oh, it's a, just a little past here. Please tell me I have enough for this tattoo shop. Otherwise, I'll be sad and cry. I am gonna continue to be sad and cry someplace. I need to sort this out. It's actually bugging me. Find somewhere to raid and make it make it snappy. The sound effects on the map are nice. But I was still gaming. We've only been going for two but two hours. It's a great beard though, why change? Because the physics of the game are making it seem silly in cutscenes. Like if Avor looks down, the beard just sort of like covers his face. Or at least half of it, and it looks weird and it's bothering me. And beard vor. He becomes the he becomes the man of the beard. He no longer becomes he is no longer a man. He is a beard. Can I go through this building on my horse? I can. Ah, there was always going to be a problem. Let's go. What do you think of the real world parts in AC Valhalla? Like the historical locations. I guess they're fun and good. I live in England. I've I've seen a few a few of the historical locations. I've been a I've been to a few of the places that are under different names in this game. For example, London as London or Jorvik, which is now York. Uh, I've seen Stonehenge from a distance. You can't really get too close to it, but... Yeah, that's cool. Can you fight Rudwalda, aka the Black Knight? I don't believe so, but maybe. I haven't explored all the game has to offer. Maybe we'll find out if we can or can't. Loving this game so far. I'm having a good time. This horse is not on the... the cli okay. Well, that horse can... Yeah. I'm just watching a horse contemplate the universe. While defying the laws of physics. Nothing brings me greater pleasure in life than watching this. Ah, uh, there we go, that's... I mean, it, it's funny-ish. What's your favourite weapon? Uh, I don't know. I've always liked to punch people. I also settle for the bog standard axe most of the time. This is so I can finally build myself a tattoo shop. Where I can conveniently uh, change my hair and be snazzy. And also get rid of this massive obnoxious beard that is for some reason... Oh, this is just using the horn. And now I can start a raid. But the horn before does not signify that for the horn is... I mean, it's identical. I love how the hood just came down on its own.
At least I have friends, eh? Try again. Done. Where are my Viking boys coming from? Oh, here. Again, better than Odyssey by miles. By many miles, is it better than Odyssey? It's just a just a better game in a lot of respects. It's surprising how such a similar game be can be so significantly better. the combat feels it feels better than it looks but it also feels like it needs work still it's quite I don't know what the word is it just it can be satisfying at times but other times it can feel like it has a limited impact which I mean it feels unimpactful. Ow. Give me a hand over here. Lovely. Great online service error for the 60 millionth time. As long as it's better than Odyssey, I'm fine with it. That's a really low bar in my opinion, so it needs to be much better than Odyssey for me to be Odyssey for me to be fine with it. Combat looks trash. Like I said, it feels better than it looks, but it still needs work, so what does that tell you? Will it be in the top 5 AC games? I don't know. Why do people ask me things that I don't know? Let me form my opinion, I'm still in the process of doing that. I know I've given it a playthrough, but I need to give it thought, like proper thought. Here we go, tattoo shop for the tattoos. And the hashtag like ta tattooed Viking. A lot, there's a lot of games I really want, but all of them come out on this week. Ah! Yeah, that's plain. Sir. 
Change your hair and tattoos. May I see your stores? Okay. Chest. There you go. Back. Why not? Um. Cool. I always say this about tattoos. Make them look... They need to not be... They need to not be symmetrical, though. And then you're all right. So what hair we get? We can we can shave him. We change the color of his hair. Shaved with a beard. Let's see how that looks. But let's reduce the. Oh god, we can go no beard and look really fucking weird. Or we can go for the classic beard. I don't know. Shaved. No, that's not. That'll also have the same physics issue. That might too. We'll just go with that. Oh god, what's happened to the? F it looks like there is no beard. All right, if you're done, I will see you later, friend. See you later, A4. Hang on, why does it look like there is no beard? There is beard, but it does not exist. Why is that? Why is Beard gone? What has happened to Beard? There's a little bit of facial hair there, but that's not the classic Beard. Hang on, you've 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 swindled me out of zero pounds. Lots, it's lots of stubble. Yeah, but we need. Oh, maybe it's because I didn't apply it, and whereas with that. Ah, uh, that might make sense. I could get long hair on the top, or I could go with the shaved. I feel like the shaved might... I want, I want to go with the shaved because it just looks like... It just looks snazzy. I'm off. Be well, friend. So long. I kind of like the shaved look, you know? Having a slap head running about. I wonder how many people will come up and slap me on the head. I don't know. Maybe this is a war crime, what I've done here. But I don't agree. That's a really weird way to say I disagree. Fishing hut? No, you can... St I don't need a fishing hut. Trading post, that's what I need. If I can afford it, I'll get this thing. Ooh, I can't afford it. Eivor, good to see you. And I'll also put something here. A Berserker's Arsenal. Something, I guess, of practical value. Maybe. Well, it looks like it has practical value. It has no practical value. But it pretends to. I can't build you a house, I'm sorry. That makes the, his armor look ridiculous. No. Save bead. Save bold Ava looks like another character. We'll go with it for now, see how, how long it takes to enjoy. Maybe we'll enjoy it, maybe we won't. God knows. It's just when you've got the hood up, it looks like you're shaved anyway. So I thought maybe it would it would have a bit of a... Like, if you look under the hood, it'll look shaved anyway. So maybe having it just like that would be quite interesting. I don't know. He looks like a different person, doesn't he? Without the, without the hair on the top. Without the hair on his head, he no longer looks like Eivor, but instead looks like... Really angry. Not particularly happy. God knows. It's fine. How do you cut your hair? Tattoo shop. How does Norway look? Snowy. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Lovely. Lovely bit of gaming. Let's get the likes up before we wrap up. Because I don't think we're going to continue uh, just, just now. Might continue later, but I don't really want to make this episode too long. 
because I want to get some stuff done and also because I like breaking them down. So, thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, all that wonderful stuff. That would be... That'd be awesome, you know, that'd be that'd be lovely and good. Lovely and nice. Lovely and, and snazzy. Um, a huge thank you to our super chatters. Sorry, I'm not not running at all today. Kylo Ren, James Rostron, and Joseph F. Efremov. I really appreciate you gamers. And a massive thank you to all the lovely patrons over on the Patreon too. If you want to join this lovely list of epic gamers, then there's a link in the description you can follow where you can check the Patreon out for yourself and all the stuff it has to offer. But whether or not you think it's worth it in the end of the day is completely up to you. There are extra bits and pieces. There's extra bits and pieces to come. But again, it's your choice. Nothing to do with me. Now, take care everyone. And hopefully I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video or stream at some point. Sorry if I sounded tired or something. I, just, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm, I feel I feel a little bit fatigued, but that's fine. Uh, I'll be seeing you all soon. We'll be doing more gaming. It'll be a good time. So take care and goodbye. <laughs>